elderly community, and they just don't seem to see logic. I've seen, I, I've, I, I used to argue my head silly trying to convince some of these older people that they were wrong, and I would use logic, which meant nothing to them. So we changed our entire approach pretty fast, and, and it's, and it's ne never been Never Get Busted's job to change people's minds. It's been Never Get Busted's job to rally those who already get it. Mm -hmm. I would rather spend my energy with those people and organizing them than trying to switch some kind of mental illness that that just can't be switched. They'll go to their graves believing drugs are bad and people belong in cages for it. And you know, that's sad because what they don't realize is the humanitarian crimes and the suffering. You know, it, it would be easy to compare the drug war suffering to the Holocaust. I, I call mm. the drug war uh, a slow motion Holocaust. And if you compare the numbers of torture and deaths and imprisonments, it's happening right under their nose. And they just can't see the logic behind it that nobody belongs in a cage for possessing a substance. But things really are changing, though, Barry. I mean, what we're seeing is is now Colorado and Washington have legalized marijuana. We're seeing that uh, the numbers across America are changing as far as medical marijuana and regular just sort of recreational marijuana. The, the Colorado and Washington situation certainly look good on their face, but there's an ugly underbelly to that legalization. Exactly. Right? And I'm sure you can tell us about that, Barry. We're going to come back with more. Barry Cooper is with us from NeverGetBusted.com. If you've got a question for him, it's 855 453 on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I am is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com again the congressional budget office sounds the alarm this time warns of greek style u.s debt crises you heard me right the GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. I just heard the best sales pitch I've heard in a long time on an airplane. The flight attendant announced, if you paid more than $75 for your round trip ticket, you overpaid. This is brilliant because everybody on the flight paid more. And I was struck by how all the road warriors stopped typing and reading and working and looked up. The announcement invited us to apply for the airline's credit card and the sign up bonus enough frequent flyer miles for a free round trip talk about turning lemons into lemonade with some banks offering free credit cards seventy five dollars is an outrage for an annual fee but a bargain for airline tickets for more tips on communicating more effectively, hit survivalspeech.com, where you can see how I got the CEO of another major airline to shower me with freebies. I'm Holland Cook.
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, inviting you to bring up whatever's on your mind here in a little bit. Uh, right now, if you've got a call you'd like to make, it will need to be for Barry Cooper. Uh, he is a former narcotics officer and decorated uh, narcotics officer. I mean, this guy was really successful at what he did as a narc uh, down in Texas for uh, many years. And he has switched sides. He's now on the side of those of us who want to end this insane war on drugs. And not just, you know, the insane war on marijuana, but the insane war on drugs. We're going to continue with more of Barry in a moment. Now, Barry actually came down here to New Hampshire, or I guess up here uh, to New Hampshire a few years ago for the Free State Project's Liberty Forum. Uh, Barry Cooper, welcome back uh, to Free Talk Live, live from Mexico via Skype. Thanks for coming on tonight. Of course, it's glad to, I'm glad to be back. Now it's been a, it's been several years since you were at the Free State Project's Liberty Forum. That must have been 2007 or eight. I'm, I'm, I would say that was probably 2008 because I know it was it was in the early days of the event. And uh, and you're you're down kind of on a self imposed exile in Mexico. So I don't know if we're going to see you again anytime in the near future. But you did an amazing job when you were here, and it was a, it was a great speech that you gave. But can you kind of give a recap of what your experience was like at a, at attending the Liberty Forum? It was one of the best times of my life. I'll never, the, the sense that I got and the thing that I remember from that is that I had never been around so many like-minded, passionate freedom fighters that were all experts in their own fields. And that felt really good. You know, uh, Liberty Forum already happened this year, and it was big. It was like 500 people. It's, it's been growing you know, year after year. But something that's been growing even faster is the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Now, here on Free Talk Live, we talk a lot about the Free State Project. And it's the Free State Project that puts on that Liberty Forum event, and they also put on the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And that's something you, you uh, have not been to, Barry, but I think you'd enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, it happens on a campground. There are over 1,500 people who love the ideas of freedom, who show up together. They come from around the world, and many of them camp out. Some stay in the, the hotel or re, you know nearby hotels. But it's it's mostly a camping event, and it's it's just a wonderful time because you know unlike the the hotel where things can be a little stuffy as far as dress code or whatever, uh, here at you know it's just everybody's just kind of taking it easy. There's a lot of parties. There's buzzes, big gay dance party. There's you know they throw a rave party every year. There's music all over the place, and of course you know the inevitable campground fires and you know campy sort of things going on, cookoffs, etc. So it's really just a great time, and plus you can just stand out in uh, in public and smoke a bong i mean you really just can't beat that so uh, that sounds fantastic yeah. now after our cop buster stings and our activism and you know the police had raided us and my my wife they arrested my wife three times arrested me four times mm -hmm. they took our autistic son for a year and a half we fled the u.s and and i've been gone for three years i was actually in i had political asylum in brazil for a while but some legal things lifted and we were able to uh, move to Mexico, hmm. where we've had a steady stream of family and friends who didn't think they'd ever see us again. They've been flying in constantly, and it's been a great reunion, but I doubt I'll be crossing into the U.S. borders ever, yeah. unless it's to <laughs> testify in court for a client and 
they're allowing Skype testimony now. So oh, great. I just don't see me coming back into Russia. I mean, I mean America. <laughs> I can't blame you for that, man. Uh, <laughs> fo- folks who want to check out the Porcupine Freedom Festival really should go to porkfest.com. The tickets are $60 for the full week of fun in the woods here with liberty loving people. And tomorrow, 420, there's a special 420 discount. Of uh, it's going down to fifty bucks, so this is your last chance to get discounted pork fest tickets. That's tomorrow, Barry. Uh, you're former narcotics officer, so you've got a little bit of experience at uh, this topic we're discussing here. You, we had just kind of mentioned Colorado and Washington, and Mark was praising uh, those initiatives to you know that legalized cannabis. And there's no doubt. Uh, I'd rather see people who have previously been getting arrested not get arrested, and the numbers of arrests are down dramatically uh, in Washington state. Uh, I've seen the numbers from there. I mean, they're they're down by thousands uh, to the mere hundreds of people being arrested now for for cannabis possession, and they're they're only arresting people with over an ounce. So it's a it's a major uh, step in the right direction. But there are some real nasty under kind of a nasty side to this, Barry, and you're familiar with that, right? Yeah, that's that the drugged driving. Is that what you're referring? That's to? That's definitely what I'm getting at, for sure. Yeah, I knew. I knew when they wrote that law that they were just going to change the possession of marijuana arrests into drugged driving arrests by taking blood tests, which is which is ridiculous. That sounds scary to me. I mean, uh, you know, that there, there's a what a state trooper going to draw blood on the side of the road? That does not sound safe at all. But the marijuana tests I'm familiar with, um, you can be positive for having smoked marijuana a month afterwards. So it doesn't tell yeah. you. It doesn't. It, it's not indicative of you being. Uh, high on marijuana, it's indicative of you having smoked in the last month, which is an entirely different conversation. Which, which pretty much means, not, I mean, not only that not only that, not only that, gentlemen, we're talking about impairment. And while I agree, a new marijuana user uh, should not drive. I drove for eight years. I never drove a car unless I was high. I could, <laughs> oh my. It's not. It's not impairment. Alcohol impairs people. It shouldn't be about what chemistry is in a person's bloodstream whether they can drive or not it should be whether they can do a b c or d or or x y z and those field sobriety tests take take care of that but can i change the subject real quick on the yeah. legalization i remember mark talking about uh that we were making some progress and we are my goodness the legalization of marijuana is fantastic uh i predicted you know five years ago that in five years I mean, I predicted three years ago that in five years it'd be legal. I still believe in two years it'll be legal within all 50 states, whether it be medical or recreational. And and what I see is right now I live in Sinaloa, which is the state that ships more marijuana to the U.S. than any other state in the world. And what's what's happened, and I've stuck by this saying, and I still do, the day marijuana becomes illegal will be the day that the people that are making the billions of dollars on the marijuana, the illegal marijuana industry, will continue making those billions of dollars. So what's happened, uh, of course, when we legalize now uh, marijuana, instead of the U.S. government having to take the black market dollars, they'll get their billions in tax money. But we still have to take care of the cartels in Mexico. You see, the cartels are just a government. Hmm. You know, a, a government is is a group of people who've who've taken over a monopoly of a certain region by force, right. by power. That's the definition of a government. Well, they're a government. I know the propaganda in the U.S. makes them appear to be these wild gangbangers. They're really not. They're a legitimate government. They're not killing their own citizens. They're killing each other's militaries. It's a civil war. And the, 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 U, the cartels actually are so powerful. Remember when they used to fly in back in the 80s and 90s and they would take down drug lords like Pablo Escobar? Mm-hmm. Well, they can't do that anymore. And I hear the music coming yes, up. Yes, you do. Like, Stand by, Barry Cooper. We're going to come back with more. And actually, we've already got some people on the line who have some questions. Uh, for Barry, he is the creator of Never Get Busted. You can go and uh, grab the DVDs at NeverGetBusted.com. And I believe he's actually now putting them online for free. We'll touch base with him about that here in a few moments. 855-450 free. More with Barry here and your calls are welcome. This is Free Talk Live, live Saturday show. Question. 
Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Free Talk Live. Who is playing dress-up as a guest? Um, superhero. Ninja. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. A border ninja. <laughs> See, that would be the problem. Somebody else would dress up like a pirate, and then there would be a war. Yeah. <laughs> Just the pirates duking it out. <laughs> Wait, well, now, what do the pirates have against ninjas? Oh, ninjas and pirates are like matter and antimatter. They can't be together. It- <laughs> Okay. I have he a was feeling gonna... the ninjas would just whoop it up on the pirates. Man. Are you kidding? Pirates. Arr. Pirates, man. <laughs> oh, the pirates do have cannons. They have the long range attack ability, but once you get in close, it's hard <laughs> to be tougher than a pirate, though. The pirates are certainly tough, but the uh, agility I don't think is there. Lose, a, around on lose a, a hand, there. lose a leg, you can <laughs> still get still 200 fight. people to be afraid of you as you stomp <laughs> around with half of your, you know, an eye patch, one hand, one leg. You stomp <laughs> around a half a person, and you're still commanding 200 people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can dial in here toll free at 855 453. That's 855 450 3733. Coming up. Your phone calls for Barry Cooper. Uh, He is a former narcotics officer from Texas who years ago uh, switched sides and has now joined the side of ending the insane war on drugs. He's put out a couple of videos, Never Get Busted, Volume 1 and 2. You can go to NeverGetBusted.com to check out more about him and what he's currently up to these days. He's always got something on in the works, and I want to talk more uh, with him about that. I also want to get to your phone calls. And you know what? I'm going to get your opinion, Barry, uh, since we've got you here on uh, Ross Ulbricht. We have been talking about...
about the Silk Road case here in detail over the last couple of years, you know, since before we were talking about the Silk Road, even since before Ross was arrested. But for our listeners who don't know, Ross is the uh, Ross Ulbricht is the man that the federal government FBI is accusing of running the Silk Road. The Silk Road being an underground website where folks could buy drugs, among other things. And uh, and so even if he if he is, as they are accusing him, the the man behind the operation, aka Dread Pirate Roberts, I believe that Ross Ulbricht is a hero and that he has brought amazing level of harm reduction to the black marketplace. And I'm wondering what you think about him and the Silk Road, Barry Cooper. Oh, absolutely. Anybody that can sell sell a product that people want safely, it's a much better choice. You know, I've always said I would much rather go to Marlboro to get my marijuana cigarettes than then have to go to the cartels. But speaking of those cartels, what the government's doing now is they're, they're go- actually going to make the cartels legal importers of marijuana. You know, President Fox and a Microsoft billionaire, President Fox being the former president of Mexico, mm-hmm. they announced that they were going to start the first chain of marijuana stores in the U.S. and they begin to acquisition mom and pop shops out in California. Well, people at that level do not make those kind of moves. In the, unless they know something's in the works. So in the next hmm. two years, you're going to see Mexico importing marijuana. It'll actually be the cartels that, that are importing it into the U.S., but they'll be able to do it legally. Well, that'll be an interesting development. Uh, so just real quick, I want to let our listeners know how to help out Ross. Uh, you can go to freeross.org. Again, Ross Ulbricht being accused of money laundering, conspiracy to sell drugs, and uh, let's see, some other nonsense charge, I think computer hacking or something like that. So he's uh, he's standing up for his freedom, and the uh, you know if you care about the war on drugs, you want to see it end, you can help him out by going to freeross.org. They take Bitcoin, of course. Uh, they take uh, you know cash, PayPal, uh, PayPal check, etc. Freeross.org. And uh, Barry, real quick before we go to the phones here and take some calls for you, uh, is it true that I'd, I'd heard? I think I heard you uh, actually talking to Adam Kokesh the other day that uh, Never Get Busted Volume 1 and 2, your DVDs that you'd originally put out a a few years ago, they are now available free online. Is that true? That's absolutely right. They're available on our YouTube channel, or you can just search them through YouTube and find them. But, yeah, and and we're producing Volume 3, and I'm giving it away. Now tell me about that. What's what's Volume 3 going to be? Well, Volume 3 is a system that I've uh, developed over the past six or seven years as an expert witness it's a system to teach citizens how to win their drug case. Hmm. And it's got some really controversial tips, you know, such as I teach people how to lie in court. You know, there's a rule, lie in court if you know you can get away with it and if it sets you free. Now, obviously, people may use these tips to help uh, help themselves win a, a, a violent crime, but that's not what I'm after. They're caging hundreds of thousands of Americans for drugs and they're getting railroaded through kangaroo courts. Judges are, are ruling against the law on purpose and they're, it's just too much suffering. So yeah, it's, system, it's, it's a shame it's, that we would have to create a system like that you have to react to um, you have to react to the system. I mean, it's a shame that one would have to teach people how to lie in court. But there's something deadly wrong with the court system in this um, in the United States. Mm. The fact is that there's a far, far fewer than one percent of arrests end up um, going to trial. And of the ones that go to trial, I only know felony numbers, misdemeanor numbers. It's harder to get this uh, information. Of felony numbers, 66% of people who actually take it to trial, and you would think that if so few people make it to trial, less than 99 point something percent of people don't, um, that that those people would likely be innocent. But the fact is 66% of them are found guilty. Something is broken in the court system. Mark, you're exactly right, and that's why I've developed the system, and it's worked in 200, over 200 cases, not one of my clients has gone to jail using this system. In fact, hmm. recently, one of our biggest success with keeping somebody out of, anybody out of prison is a big success. But there was a man arrested and sentenced to uh, federal prison 
for 30 years for marijuana seeds. He had already served 15 years. He had 15 years left in federal prison. All of his uh, appeals were exhausted. His family contacted me, and this Christmas, he got to be in the arms of his mother in Jamaica. We got him out of prison. Wow. So I can't wait to release this volume three, and it's, it's things citizens can use to protect themselves when they have a drug case. They're relying on a lawyer to do everything. Well, there's 2 million people in jail in the U.S. right now, and they all had a lawyer. <laughs> so just <laughs> having a lawyer is not the answer. Awesome. So when are you expecting, when's the, uh, the, the new movie going to be coming out later this year? I've got a crew coming here to my uh, hometown now of Mazatlan in May. We'll be finished shooting at the end of May. And then, of course, you know the editing process. So we're looking at July or August. We want to get this out pretty fast, so we're going to be working on it very hard. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a heads up from you when it's out so we can let our listeners know and they can check it out. And I'm really excited that you're you're kind of doing the uh, the freemium model, I think they call it, kind of like what we do with Free Talk Live. You know, put the content out there and then uh, let people support the content that they support with uh, with their dollars and, you know, buying merchandise well, or whatever. Actually, it was actually a psychedelic. While I was in Brazil, I got a chance to... Uh, visit an ayahuasca retreat oh really under the influence of that ayahuasca it to, the plant teacher told me barry you cannot sell your information any longer you can sell your service you can sell your products but you cannot sell your information so i made all my information and videos free and you know people still buy the hard disk sure from sure. our website just to support us. So well, it's easy. Not- it's easy to do that, to support somebody. And, and it's also, you know, it's still kind of nice to have a, a hard disk that you can uh, share with somebody and give it to a friend, have them watch it. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. And and we did the same thing with Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree here. It's a movie that actually I produced. Uh, you can go to victimlesscrimespree.com, watch the, watch the whole thing for free right there online. And if you want, there's a $10 director's cut DVD, you know, with eight, eight hours of bonus footage and uh, director's commentary and things like that on it. And then people, you know, not very many people, but <laughs> some people buy it, and that's fine. And, you know, we put a message on the back of the DVD saying, uh, basically changing the the kind of the classic FBI warning, totally changing the wording of it, basically encouraging people, please take this DVD, share it with people, have screenings, you know, put it on a big screen. We don't care. Charge people to watch it. Whatever it does, whatever you can do to get it out there into people's heads, that's what I care about. That's exactly right, and that's what's going to save mankind is sharing information at these levels where people will wake up and realize that government is causing more harm than good and peaceful anarchy is a good start. I love that the freemium model was given to you on an ayahuasca journey. That was uh, unexpected and awesome. Let's uh, go to the phones here shortly. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you've got a question for Barry, he's actually pledged that he will stay on longer than an hour. I, I asked him, you know, well, we had talked prior to you coming on about how long you wanted to be on, and you said you wanted to be on as long as possible. So I said, well, we'll do, we'll do an hour and then see how it goes. Phone calls are lining up, Barry, so uh, you're going to hang with us, right? Absolutely. I'm here for you guys. Fantastic. More coming up here with Barry Cooper. He's live from his new home in Mexico. Uh, You can ask him whatever you want. Former narcotics officer. This guy has, uh, he's got an opinion. He's not hesitant to share it with you. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Again, he's the proprietor of NeverGetBusted.com. We'll come back with more Free Talk Live here on this live Saturday edition. Promise, your calls are next. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less
less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. We'll be returning to our normal mode of operation, which is not having a guest here a little bit later on in the program tonight. We're here. uh, It's the live Saturday edition. You can, of course, join us over at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that we share with you uh, over at freetalklive.com. It's all completely free. Now, something else that's free that you don't normally expect to be free is changing U.S. dollars into Bitcoin. Tell you how you can do that for free. Cashintocoins.com is where you can go. It's easy, safe, fast, legal, and it's inexpensive. Plus, customer service is their top priority. And if you change less than $40 worth of U.S. dollars into Bitcoin, they'll do it for no fee at cashintocoins.com. Now, if you go over 40 bucks, then it's a reasonable fee, a very reasonable fee. Uh, in fact, Cash I into believe Coins- it's the, yeah, the... the- I, I, from, from what I've been able to find um, in my travels looking for Bitcoin, it's the lowest cost way to get Bitcoins. It's the uh, the best fee I've ever seen on a, on a cash to a Bitcoins transaction. They're amazing over at cashintocoins.com. And I know uh, Barry Cooper has, has some sort of Bitcoin-related uh, propaganda up on his website, nevergetbusted.com. But uh, cashintocoins.com makes it so easy. You can use money order, check, or wire transfer. Get your Bitcoins. If you haven't gone so uh, to get a wallet yet, go check out blockchain.info. 
phone, grab your free wallet, and then go to cashintocoins.com and get some Bitcoins. Barry, uh, you taking Bitcoin for uh, some of your stuff these days? What's, what's your relationship <laughs> with Bitcoin? Absolutely. I love Bitcoin. I think it's fantastic. I hope, I hope, I hope the whole world turns into using digital money. Yeah, we're big fans of it here on uh, Free Talk Live, and I think, what, about 25% of our advertising is now done, uh, like dollars some, coming into the show. Some months it's been 50. Yeah, are now in, uh, in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, wow, that's impressive. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, again, cashinthecoins.com. we got Barry Cooper with us. He's a former narcotics officer. How many years were you a narcotics officer before turning to the, the good side, Barry? Eight years. That's a long career of putting people in uh, in prison. And cell. it wasn't just a narcotics officer. I mean, you were sort of decorated by the state of Texas, right? Well, I was I was cross trained by the DEA and worked joint operations with the FBI and ATF and U.S. Border Patrol and even the U.S. military. I worked for the Permian Basin Drug Task Force out in Odessa, Texas, which was responsible for covering. Uh, almost all of West and South Texas, over 20 or 30 counties. I can't remember the number of counties now. So you've uh, seen the drug war from both sides. You've switched to the side of, uh, of good. And I want to bring our callers on here who have been waiting patiently to ask you some questions here, Barry. Uh, Barry's with us live on Skype via Mexico, where he's currently living, uh, currently in exile from the t- police state of the United States. Let's go to Chris in Michigan, listening online via LRN.FM. You're on with Barry Cooper. Hey, Chris. Hey, uh, Barry, it's great to talk to you. I've got both your movies. I really enjoy them. I want to tell you that first. Uh, I, I wanted to get your opinion on something, though. We've got a uh, decent medical marijuana program up here in Michigan, right? And the problem is if you uh, get a medical marijuana card and say you grow marijuana at home, you cannot own firearms. I'm not sure if it has to do with the attorney general here or if it's a federal law. I just want to get your opinion on maybe what you thought was going on, what what I could do. Yeah, yeah, I can't even have a hunting rifle. Well, I think it's ridiculous that they take your freedom away because you want to grow a plant. You can't have a firearm. That's the same thing as telling somebody because they drink meat. I'm sorry, what? I could go to my doctor and, you know, get a prescription, say, for oxycodone or stop by if I drank. I could go to the liquor store and get liquor. Of you course. Know. Well, I, I think the, the big answer is you live in the U.S. And, and nothing seems to be working there, especially the criminal justice system. It doesn't make sense. Thanks, Chris, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Jack. He's listening in Huntsville, Alabama to WBHP. Jack, you're on with Barry Cooper. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, uh, Jackie, I mean, <laughs> Barry, excuse me. Uh, you know that uh, prohibition law was repealed back in, what, in the 30s. I, I think I remember that. I don't know the date, but the point is, right here, since prohibition is what's going on with the war on drugs, why is it the authorities are out here arresting people and, you know, causing havoc in people's lives for a while that it's not only legal, not legal, excuse me, but uh, doesn't even exist anymore. What are you? Which law are you saying doesn't exist anymore? Prohibition. Just to be clear, are you talking about alcohol prohibition? Well, yeah, but oh, right, that's true. But still, this other here, what they're doing, the drugs, that's still prohibition, and it's still illegal, no matter whether it's drugs or anything else. Right? I don't know if I understand the question, uh, Mark. Well, I mean, I, what my guess would be with the question means is, is that uh, the, that if if they had to change the constitution to make alcohol illegal, then why didn't they have to change the constitution to make marijuana illegal? And that the law th- is therefore illegal. Thanks and for your call. I think tonight, there's an argument, Jack. I appreciate it. Uh, Barry, any thoughts on that uh, inconsistency? No, I think Mark handled it perfectly. <laughs> right, let's go to Greg. He's listening in Chesapeake, Virginia, to WNIS. Greg, you're on with Barry Cooper. Hey, Barry. uh, Great show, you guys. I'm in a stick-in-the-mud state here in Virginia, and uh, I'm also trying to get the medical marijuana, all that stuff started, and it's just an uphill battle. I'm even considering moving to Colorado uh, just because I don't think it's going to get any leg work here. Uh, I've tried everything. I'd get on the talk shows here. 
I've tried to figure out how we could get it to like a public vote during an election. Um, and it just seems like you have the plague if you bring it up. Mm. So uh, I'm assuming move to Colorado would be your best advice. Go somewhere where it's already in place rather than fight a battle like this. I love Virginia. I've spent my whole life here. Uh, families here and everything, but uh, they just treat it like it's the plague or something. Well, absolutely, 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 you need to move. I get a lot of cases out of Virginia. and When they get somebody there for marijuana, man, they're really rough on them. But I tell clients all the time, if they've been arrested especially, they've got to move. They've got to get out of that jurisdiction. But to avoid arrest, of course move. Move somewhere that's geographically more lined up with your beliefs and your taste and your habits. That's why I left the U.S. <laughs> it's got to be hard, though. And That's thanks, what we're going to do. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. It, it's got, you know, it is hard for people to leave where they're from. I mean, you know, Barry, we, we're here as part of the Free State Project. Uh, Mark and myself, we moved here in 2006, and we had to leave, you know, sunny Florida, which a lot of people would say, what the hell's the matter with you? Uh, why would you move to New Hampshire? Well, we're moving here because of the prospects for freedom are much brighter when we're in a place like New Hampshire. Now, to be to be uh, to be clear, New Hampshire is behind the ball when it comes to ma uh, marijuana reform. There has been a medical marijuana package that was passed last year. They're you know slowly working on implementing it. You know, working on getting ID cards for patients and opening up some uh, some compassion centers. But it's it's a slow process and it's you know political and it's awful. Um, but we're seeing some progress on legalization and, and decrim. But the current governor is is pretty much diametrically opposed to that. So there's still some roadblocks in the way here. But the idea is, you know, if you love free, if you love pot, then get to Colorado and Washington right away. But if you love freedom and you see this as more than just you know something to end the war against cannabis, that we want to end the entire war on drugs, that we want to secede from uh, the United States. That's what I want. I'm not speaking for anybody else, I guess. Uh, but uh, you know, the Free State Project isn't a secessionist movement, and it's not a legalization movement. No, but I'm has, not looking for secession. But it has people within the, uh, you know, within the Free State Project who support all of these things, and they want more freedom on every issue uh, every time. That's the idea is let's get these folks, let's get liberty-minded people all to New Hampshire, and then we'll see even more change in a, in a much faster manner. Because, you know, while you might be able to go to Colorado and uh, in Denver and, you know, have some cannabis freedom, you're probably not going to have the gun freedoms that you're going to have uh, in, in a place like New Hampshire. So eventually we'll see cannabis freedoms and maybe other drug freedoms in New Hampshire, plus freedoms in other areas. So that's kind of the, the big plan here. Anyway, Barry Cooper is with us. He's live from Mexico. And, Barry, uh, you're willing to take a few more questions. If you've got them, listeners, now would be the time to get in here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. Eight, uh, eight That's 855-450-3733. Now, Barry, you've been living in Mexico for how long now? I've been here eight months. And you came from Brazil prior to the, uh, that, the United States. There's a lot of uh, you know rumor about Mexico. Yeah, I mean, are you are you getting are, are there threats of kidnaps all the kidnapping all the time? Yeah, is it as dangerous as they say it is? No, the the U.S. puts that propaganda out because they're broke, and they want the vacationers to spend the billions of dollars of tourist money in Florida and Hawaii. So they've made Mexico out to be more dangerous than. And what it is, this is the safest place I've ever lived in the world. In fact, there are more people kidnapped in the U.S. per capita than Mexico by half. We'll come back with more here. I want to talk a little bit more about your current home and, uh, and how you, know, you and the family have been settling in. What brought you there in the first place? Uh, plus, your calls. Welcome for Barry Cooper here with us from NeverGetBusted.com. The toll-free number 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler, or stop by. Granger. 
for the ones who get it done. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address and our free software, MeowBit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, April 19th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.64 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,295 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $497. On Thursday, Edward Snowden questioned Russia's involvement in mass surveillance on live television. Snowden asked Russian President Vladimir Putin a question that cannot credibly be answered in the negative by any leader who runs a modern intrusive surveillance program. Does your country intercept, analyze, or store millions of individuals' communications? Writing in The Guardian, Snowden says, I went on to challenge whether, even if such a massive surveillance program were effective and technically legal, that it could be morally justified. The question was intended to mirror the now infamous exchange in U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee hearings between Senator Ron Wyden and the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, about whether the NSA collected records on millions of Americans and to invite either an important concession or a clear evasion. Clapper's lie to the Senate and to the public was a major motivating force behind my decision to go public and a historic example of the importance of official accountability. In his response, Putin denied the first part of the question and dodged on the latter. There are serious inconsistencies in his denial, but it was not the president's suspiciously narrow answer that was criticized by many pundits. It was that I had chosen to ask a question at all. Snowden added, I was surprised that people who witnessed me risk my life to expose the surveillance practices of my own country could not believe that I might also criticize the surveillance policies of Russia, a country to which I have sworn no allegiance without ulterior motive. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The fight is on between Pacific U.S. allies hoping to get some benefit out of the Asia pivot and Eastern European nations who believe the pivot should be into their own backyards. So far, the U.S. is trying to reassure both, and Polish Defense Minister Tomasz Simoniak confirmed after a meeting with his U.S. counterpart Chuck Hagel that U.S. ground troops are coming to be deployed in Poland in the near future. The exact size of the deployment is unclear. Poland has been pushing for a minimum of 10,000 NATO ground troops in their country to counter Russia, and previous reports have suggested the U.S. was planning to send roughly 5,000 troops to the area. Simoniak 
Poniak was open about criticizing the Asia pivot, saying that what is needed is a re-pivot because of the ongoing crisis in neighboring Ukraine. Poland is not alone in pressing for more NATO troops as Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia are also claiming to be threatened by Russia's annexation of Crimea. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. The Associated Press reports Hawaii lawmakers in both chambers agree that legal permission for police to have sex with prostitutes should end. House and Senate members are still negotiating on the version of the House Bill 1926 that they will send to the governor, but they concur that the crime bill should revoke a peculiar exemption that permits police in Hawaii in the course of their duties to have sex with prostitutes. The bill began in the House and was amended as it passed out of the chamber's judicial committee. At the time, Honolulu police told lawmakers that device officers needed the exemption in law to prevent pimps and prostitutes from knowing limits of police methods. Representative Carl Rhodes said they now want to return to the bill's original language regarding the exemption. It would bar police from engaging in sex or sadomasochistic acts with prostitutes. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. After notifying students that there will be no awesome events happening on campus this weekend, Hamilton College Activity Board Coordinator Jessica Wilson from the class of 2015 spoke to Onion reporters about the disappointingly empty days ahead. On behalf of the entire Campus Activities Board, I would like to truly apologize for failing to live up to the standards expected of us from everyone on campus. And the fact is, we let the school down. Wilson said that while the board is usually proficient at booking plenty of cool events for all students to participate in, the upcoming weekend will have no interesting lectures, no wrestling match against Amherst, no acoustic coffee house, and no outdoor movie screening of Silver Linings Playbook. We tried our best to organize a foam party in Dunham Quad for Friday night but all the foam machines were rented and we failed. This falls on us. We realize we don't deserve your trust yet, nor do we expect it, but we'll do everything we can to restore your confidence in us, starting with a comedy hypnotist show on Thursday at Minor Theater. Tickets are $5. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you're invited to take control of the airwaves here. You'll be able to bring up absolutely anything you want here on Free Talk Live here shortly. We've actually held over our guest, Barry Cooper, from NeverGetBusted.com. For those of you who are just tuning in, you don't know who Barry Cooper is. Mark, how would you describe Barry Cooper? Barry Cooper is a narcotics agent that uh, former. decorated. Yeah, former narcotics agent, former decorated narcotics agent that has... Uh, now began producing videos that show people how to avoid getting busted. And if you do get busted, how to, you know, mitigate that circumstance as best you can. So um, he's got a lot of interesting tips and a lot of interesting philosophies on life. Right. And now you can go to NeverGetBusted.com. You can watch his first two productions, Never Get Busted, Volume 1 and 2, for free online, which was uh, a vision that he had while on an ayahuasca journey uh, down in South America. Can we talk a little bit more about that, uh, Barry? I mean, I don't think a lot of people, we, we just kind of breezed over it earlier, and I don't think a lot of people probably even know what ayahuasca is. Well, ayahuasca is legal in Brazil. It's a very powerful psychedelic. Of course, you can't die from it. There's never been a death from it, like most psychedelics. And it's a, it's a, a leaf and a vine that's mixed together it's basically DMT, if you know anything about that, but it's oh, yeah. it lasts all night. And the way I can describe it is uh, if there's two of you living inside of you, one is a higher self, say, that's really smart and knows everything. And then there's the you that walks around on planet Earth all day. And there's a little wall in between the two. Sometimes they talk to each other, you know, gut instincts you get, or when your mind talks to you and gives you an idea. To me, that's your higher self talking to you. Well, the ayahuasca mm. removes that barrier to where you can download an incredible amount of useful information 
in one session, it's life changing. It's also what completely cured me of my PTSD symptoms. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've heard nothing but just amazing stories uh, from people. Now, there are some stories of people who've gone down there and they've gotten scammed uh, from some people trying to, you know, I guess, falsely portray themselves as these ayahuasca shamans. But for the most part, people have really just amazing experiences. And there's a whole lot of preparation involved in this. This isn't, uh, you know, as I understand it, you just don't show up, you get this magic tea and drink it. There's some prep. There's like you, you're helping brew the tea in a lot of these ceremonies, right? Well, the important thing is the diet, like for a week before the ayahuasca, if you want, if you want to have a better experience, you want to go completely vegetarian with no salt in your diet. And by the way, I was lucky. I was at one of the really wealthy ones. I got invited there to work a legal case for them. And Candy and I got to live there for uh, three months Hmm. and attend all the retreats. So we got to learn, learn a lot about it. And, uh, the wealthier people were the ones coming to there. In fact, I was uh, in ayahuasca sessions with with uh, one of the higher ups in HBO and a filmmaker that I'm not going to make because I, uh, you know, out. Sure. You know that's their business, but a lot of very successful, qualified people are seeking that journey. And you're as, there with as a, way of, as a way of helping their careers and their life. And, yeah, and I think this is uh, something that uh, we, the little people, don't really hear about very much, is that oftentimes uh, captains of business and, uh, you know, major movers, uh, Hollywood people, politicians, they do these kinds of things because they have access to this kind of stuff and that the the laws are set up so that we don't. <laughs> it's exactly right, Mark. It's unfair. So to go back to Mexico, where you're currently living, you left the United States after you were targeted. You did something that was really entertaining uh, called Cop Busters, where you and actually one of our old buddies, Sam Dodson, uh, set up some cameras inside a house. There was a few different things that you did, but basically you uh, you pu- pulled a reverse sting on the cops. Uh, they were tipped off that there were some uh, marijuana plants growing in the house. Turned out they were Christmas trees underneath these uh, these lights, and you got footage of these cops busting in and looking like fools. and oh, Illegally. Yeah, well, right. Uh, well, they do a lot of things illegally. But, yeah, essentially you busted them, and you busted this police chief who was taking money out of a lunchbox that you left in a gas station just to, you know, to show just how rampant corruption is amongst the police. It wasn't hard for you at all to lure these police into doing illegal, corrupt things. You caught it all on video. Again, it's called Cop Busters with a K. Uh, but and they, they came after him big time. Yeah, they didn't like that very much, did they, Barry? No, they didn't. In fact, uh, our family has just come off the worst three three years of our lives. It was sheer torture. They retaliated by running a SWAT raid on my home for a misdemeanor, hmm. a false report to a peace officer. They're saying I lied to the cops that there was marijuana in the house. Well, I didn't lie to the cops. We sent the letter to a preacher that there was marijuana in the house and the preacher gave it to the cops. So they knew they had a bad charge, but they used, they used that to raid my home. And the search warrant was actually for, not for marijuana. The listed was my videotapes, computers. It was all my media and journalism. And I realized then that, you know, the constitution is a myth in the U S the the U S is not free. And I had told my wife and we planned as soon as we got finished with court and got our son back, we were fleeing. So we took a cruise to Aruba, got off the ship like we were going to get back on the ship. We didn't. We had a speedboat waiting for us to take us 14 miles over the ocean to Venezuela, where I where we stayed for eight months until we would figure out if the feds were coming after us or not for parental kidnapping. As you know, Venezuela doesn't have extradition, so we had to start out there. Then we moved from Venezuela to the border of Brazil, where they uh, gave us political refugee status, Wow! where we lived almost a year, and then legal things clear. My lawyers got some stuff cleared up. We got full custody of our son, which gave him a passport. So we were able to move to Mexico, and that's where we're happily running Never Get Busted and still freeing prisoners and defendants. (laughs) I think it's awesome. You guys have done some amazing work, and uh, and from what you told us before, Mexico is not the uh, the hellhole that uh, that a lot of people in the United States make it out to be. Can you give me some some more examples of how that is? Yeah, well, for instance, I look, I get these. Uh, my source is the Huffington Post and the U.S. Department of Justice. The number of kidnappings per year in Mexico combined, children and adults, 
is 26,000. The number of kidnappings in the United States per year, children only, is 58,000. I mean, in your country, in the U.S., they're kidnapping 58,000 kids a year. In my country here, which I feel like this is my country now, I love this country. It's the only place I've been able to get along with men. I couldn't get along with men in the United States. They were just bullies and didn't use logic. Now, there are some good men in the U.S., of course, that I still dearly love. I couldn't get along with men in Venezuela. The poverty level there made things very difficult for them. I stayed to myself in Brazil, but I've been here almost a year now and have not had one conflict, and we're very popular in our community. I love these Mexican people. But back to the kidnappings, uh, there's 26,000 a year in Mexico, and that's uh, that's children and adults together. So it's it's the crime rate in the U.S. is much higher than Mexico. There's another reason why I'm safer here than anywhere else in the world is because I live in a resort town, and the cartels who are a government have already issued an order that if a tourist gets hurt, it's basically the death penalty. So the the we so we have the cartels that have issued an order you don't touch tourists. And the, what people call the legitimate government here has tourist police driving around to make sure the tourists are taken care of. Because if one tourist gets harmed here overnight, this city suffers millions and millions of dollars and these families suffer. So I, I'm safer than I've ever been. I, I'm being protected by the cartels and the legitimate <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Barry, I have to say it's great having you on here uh, on Free Talk Live. Always appreciate your time. I know you've got, I'm sure, the family out there that uh, you'd like to spend some time with. So I want to say thanks again for coming on giving our listeners an update. Folks can follow you by going to nevergetbusted.com. That's where updates are going to be posted until you can hopefully get uh, back in control of the, uh, the old account on Facebook, which was hijacked by a former employee. So we'll keep our listeners up to date. And uh, do let me know when that new episode of Never Get Busted comes out. We'd love to let our listeners know about that. I sure will. Peace and love to you, Ian and Mark, and peace and love to you talk about. Thanks, Barry. Say hi to Candy. She's awesome. I will, man. I'll right. give, her, give her your best. Right on. You have, I bet you will. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Barry Cooper peace. from NeverGetBusted.com. Uh, don't miss it, man. He's got some great stuff over there on that website, and uh, it's just a trove of information and experience. It's always great to have him. Your calls coming up next. You can bring up whatever you want here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938, 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth.
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features on our site. We give them away. Something else we're giving away? A free pound of coffee. Well, we're not giving it away, but BuzzBox is. No, we've partnered to, with BuzzBox. We have. If you go to coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of coffee. Now, there's a subscription you sign up for. You can cancel it at any time. Uh, you can get your free pound of coffee, try it, and say, you know, I don't like high-end, 100% organic top 1% grade Arabica shade-grown coffee. I'd much rather have the swill that I've been drinking. And that's fine. Cancel. Don't get it anymore. Or you can keep on getting it. Have that coffee problem taken care of with really healthy, really delicious coffee from BuzzBox. But, you know, you can get high-end coffee anywhere. Shade-grown coffee, you can keep an eye out for this stuff. It's a little harder to find shade-grown coffee, uh, but you can certainly do it on the Internet. One thing you really aren't going to find is you're not going to find a company that has the, the concern for its employees, the people who are part of its coffee co-op, where they help people around the world uh, to, you know, works in, a, in an environmentally sustainable fashion to get shade grown uh, to grow shade grown coffee so that uh, other people can so they can sell it and and you know live a better life also we we've partnered with them to offer 100 micro loans through world vision that's 100 micro loans that free talk live is going to be able to fund if uh, a thousand listeners like you who drink coffee go through coffee.freetalklive.com and get your coffee there and I want to change lives. I want to offer people a hand up. Um, that's my intention. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, coming up a little bit later, if we get a chance, Mark is going to tell us that apparently it's not a democracy after all. We'll get into the details. Uh, that is, the United States is not here in a moment. Your calls are certainly welcome. We're going to go right to your phone calls first. Big Frank, to start things out here in Detroit, you're on Free Talk Live listening via tune in online. Hey, Big Frank. Yeah, I told the guy that uh, my smartphone was smarter than me, you know. I think I wanted to go back to kindergarten. But Welcome, anyway, I want, to, <laughs> I want to know something right here. Do you think all this drug war right here could be a way to disarm as many people as possible to help the big boys, you know, throw in their dictatorship? To uh, disarm people to help who? I'm sorry. To help the, well, I, I call the big boys, you know, the the, the 
the guys up in government are like that to say help them disarm as many people as possible so, so they can throw on their dictatorship. Well, you know, Not one thing's either. for sure. Uh, I don't know if that was their intention with the war on drugs, but it certainly is a result that uh, the more people get convicted of felony drug charges, the fewer people are able to carry firearms. That much is true, Big Frank, and thanks for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you're, uh, Sound like a guy who called earlier tonight. He did sound a little bit like him, but I want to give him a, a pass on that one. Anyway, my point being that, uh, yeah, it's definitely true. One of the results, I don't know if this was the intention of the war on drugs, but one of the results of the war on drugs is not only that people who are convicted, and by the way, it's not hard to get a drug felony. I remember back in Florida, I don't know if it's still the, this way down in Florida, I imagine it still is, but if you had more than 20 grams of uh, cannabis, which is less than an ounce, uh, that you would be convicted of a felony. Or you'd be at least charged with a felony. Maybe they'd plea you down to something less than that. But you could get a felony charge for having an ounce of pot in Florida. So it's not like it's a hard thing to do to pick up a felony drug charge. If you have a, a prescription pill, say you're a loved one gives you some sort of prescription pill because you're having a tough time and they have an extra one, and here, here you go. You get caught with that prescription pill. That's a felony charge. So it's easy. And so once you get that right. felony charge, there go your gun rights. And, you know, you could— I mean, And voting rights in a lot of cases. I, I mean, I'm, I just find it stunning that I'm, I'm sure this happens. I know that this happens where, you know, a loved one will say, hey, you're having some pain? Here, here's an oxycodone or whatever I had or whatever, whatever the prescription drug might be. You want to know some moxicillin? I don't know. Well, I'm, you know, I can't, can't give legal advice, but mm -hmm. I'm certain that if you have a pain situation and a loved one gives you a, a pain drug, you're going to – it's a felony. It is. And – I I mean, you know, do we really want to be involved in families this way? Because I think that's reprehensible. Yeah, it's it's sick. And then, of course, that also restricts the individual's uh, right to vote in many states having a felony on your record. And, and the uh, other question I really have with this is who's responsible? I mean, we could say that the politicians did this, but the fact is, is that we all sit around and accept it. We all, you know, everybody says, hey, you know, most people say, oh, yeah, that, that shouldn't be a felony, whatever. Um, you know, you can give them a specific instance, uh, some, some story, you know, oh, yeah, that shouldn't be. But the, the system, the fact is the, the cops, the judges, the uh, prosecutors, you and me, we all just sit around and let this system grind our family oh, and that's friends. that's not true. I don't sit around. I go you to don't. the state house. I testify. I'll be there you doing are, a smoke my friend, out tomorrow. You are, you, my, you are the one thousandth of a percent yeah. that does something. Thing. And I'm sorry to say the vast majority of people listening to me, you know, they may shake their head and, and no, scary. wag their finger. I mean, Mark, it's scary to it's do something. It's not scary. Yeah, it is. I mean, they'll target you. Look what they do to me. I mean, they definitely are targeting me for being an activist. And so there's a good they chance. They don't target me, and I'm half the activist you are. That's true. You do kind of have to be out as much as possible to likely to, to likely be targeted. Michael is with us in Virginia Beach. Look, if you want to do something, move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. There really isn't much else you can do if you love freedom. Michael, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, there's something else you can do. Uh, you can go to church. Uh, this is a country that was founded by churches. That's why we have uh, a national legislature called uh, the Congress. It's uh, huh? a takeoff on the word uh, congregation. Uh, but, but what listen, does I church say, going to church going to change anything? Uh, well, it, it would change things, just like uh, uh, Jesse James said uh, the reason he robbed banks is because that's where the money is. Uh -huh. uh, you gotta go. You you gotta go where the power is, where the action is. But listen, let me praise this program because, uh, in contrast to uh, Barry Cooper tonight, a few weeks ago I happened to tune in and hear uh, Karen Strong uh, talking about uh, women's suffrage and how men had uh, uh, were drafted as part of their privilege of uh, voting in this country, but it wasn't so for women. And that's an important thing, because uh, Jesus pointed out to us that hypocrisy and double standard is the very essence of Satanism itself. So we need to get this changed in today's churches so that we can get it changed in the legislature. What do you want to see changed so exactly? This hypocrisy. Which which you one? You pointed out. Pardon me. The hypocrisy about the how women and men are treated. 
Well, yeah, the, the, that kind of double standard, for example. Uh, so we now have a uh, republic which is controlled by women who have never been forced to pay the price of being drafted or else forced to so go to So you're saying jail. draft women is what you're saying you want to change? No, I'm saying uh, take the vote away from the women until we get it back equal. Until Hold on. Just to clarify, you're saying make it so women can't vote until they're equally able to be drafted? Until we have compensated men who have been robbed all these decades by these women out here voting in these hypocrites. Well, ridiculous. That talk to your church, talk to your church about it and see if they can solve it. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. 855-450 free. You take control on Free Talk Live. There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more, more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800-518-7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new AlkaVision.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com there's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info a bitcoin treasure hunt you can find bitcoins by proving theorems so learn some logic do some math find some bitcoins even better mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously so connect to mathgate.info through tor prove some theorems find some anonymous bitcoins don't wait others are already searching for the bitcoins go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt there are anonymous bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Sources within the Vatican confirmed Tuesday that Pope Benedict XVI has dispatched an elite team of six bishops to sabotage leading contraceptive manufacturer Pfizer. Codenamed Conclave 6, the highly trained team of bishops will reportedly infiltrate the heavily guarded compound, detonate extremely powerful charges at key points within the factory, and then escape to a nearby safe house. The Catholic Church can trust only the best with defending God's plan. Conclave 6 is the deadliest team of bishops I've ever laid out. Eyes on. The Pope denied rumors that a B team of needle wielding priests had been deployed to a latex factory in New Jersey to poke tiny holes into thousands of Durex condoms. Locally, the best part of a gay 12 year old's day is the half hour he spends eating lunch alone in a stairwell. Calling it his only respite from constant ridicule and mockery, seventh grader Ben McElroy says life doesn't get better than the moments he spends quietly laying out his lunch on a secluded staircase while the rest of his classmates are in the cafeteria. This is the Onion News Network. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Talk live, bring up anything, the live Saturday edition. You know, our last caller said that this was a, uh, did he say this was a republic? Well, turns out it's not a democracy. It's not a republic. It's not a democracy. Mark, you've got a story about what is it? The United States. Yeah, I've got one here. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a moment. And want to invite you to freetalklive.com to enjoy the website and the archives and everything there for free at freetalklive.com. Dot com. Something else you can do for free, you can start up with ProXPN, which is a global virtual private network. It encrypts your online data, meaning that your information, the websites you're visiting, the search terms that you're entering, they will no longer be logged by your internet service provider. Now, you still keep your same ISP. It's just that you layer in ProXPN on top, and they encrypt everything that leaves your computer and everything that's coming into your computer, so your ISP can't monitor what you're doing anymore. Many of your ISPs out there are logging what you do for up to five years online. So you can stop that tonight by going to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can go there on Windows, Mac, iPhone, iOS devices, Android, Whichever device you're using, there's a version of ProXPN that's going to help you protect your privacy online. Plus, with their premium package, which you can get for uh, you can get 20% off of that, by the way, with our discount code FTL20. But with their premium package, you get unlimited bandwidth. You can uh, select which server around the world you'd like to connect to. You can privately torrent, get past uh, regional blocks or local, you know, if you're at a workplace or a school or something, get past the blocking system they have there. Just an amazing deal for 5 bucks a month with the discount code. You'll need our code to get that price. And that $5 a month price is the yearly package. So when you buy the yearly package with discount code FTL20 to get that 20% off the price for the lifetime of the account, go to Pro X xpn.com slash ftl you want to save even more buy with bitcoin uh, at the annual package at pro xpn.com slash ftl there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee and pro xpn does not keep records of your online habits at all and pro xpn is fast becoming internationally one of the largest vpns in the world um, and i i think that 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 speaks to how they um, provide customer service. It speaks to their level of, uh, of of being able to serve you as being, you know, providing one of the aspects of privacy online. Let's go uh, back to the phones and your calls and thoughts. We've got Chris on the line in Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI. Hello, Chris. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's on your mind tonight? Um, I was... I was uh, I was listening to you guys, um, and I love your show, by the way. I really do. Uh, except when you start talking about drug laws, and I want to ask you both a question. Mm, okay. Which one of you has had it? Which one of you has had a junkie stick a gun in your face, and, and your wallet, your car, or do you know of anybody that's been killed by a junkie who stuck him up? I haven't been killed, but I have been robbed and beaten by uh, drug users. Okay. Now, my question is this: What do we do with them? How do you call, how do you arrest and convict somebody of a crime? when you don't treat the underlying issue. My issue is use the laws, arrest them for the drug possession, arrest them for that, but also where we're failing, as far as I'm concerned, where we're failing is treatment. We're not, if they want the treatment while they're in the joint, they get it, but at least they're off the street. These people are, but I mean... Treatment, you know, you know as well as I do, treatment generally doesn't work unless the person who is uh, doing the treating wants that wants treatment. It. Right. So I here's, I have, I have another solution for you. Now, how many people do you think are, you know, where, where are you calling in from? Lynchburg. Lynchburg. I'm calling from Virginia. Okay. How many people in Lynchburg are getting robbed and killed and having guns stick, stuck in their face for cigarettes and alcohol? Uh, that's an invalid point. You can't no, no. say that. I mean, the fact is that cigarettes are highly addictive. Alcohol is a big, uh, you know, it's, it's huge as far as mind-altering goes. And the fact that they're legal means the price is quite low, so people don't have to go out and rob for that, for that stuff. The, See, you, that, 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 that argument's invalid because okay. if, you go, if, you take a trip down, if you take a trip down to New York City right now, how much is a pack of, how much is a pack of Marlboros? A pack of Marlboros is like 10 bucks because or 12 bucks because New York it, City has taxed the hell out of it, them. 
It's eighteen dollars a pack in okay. New York City. I just came back. I grew up in New York City. Okay, I've watched. The, I've watched the prices. You go sound through the genuine. Roof. You know what the do you know what, do you know what the number one black market item in New York City is right now? Cigarettes. Exactly. Why? It's because because, they because of the of price, you can't dude. Legalize it. You can't legalize it because the street guys are just going to make it. What they do down here is they open up a cigarette outlet, they rob the place blind, they take it up there, it's cash on the street, five bucks a pack. That's They're a government problem. You're, you're complaining about a government problem. The problem is that New York City wants to make it so people can't smoke, and so they tax the heck out of it, make it $18 a pack for cigarettes, and then the result is that people commit crimes around cigarettes. No doubt about it. That doesn't make my point invalid. The point is that you can't, the, 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 the black market can't can't compete with the white market, but... Yes, it can. Yes, it can across the board. Well, you think the cartels the, are going to go anywhere because yes. because you legalize dope? No, where, that's bullcrap. Where did, where did the... Hold, hold on just a second. Talent. Just a second. Where did the numbers running gang go when uh, numbers... When, when the state uh, started issuing lotto? I'm sorry, what now? You, you heard I, of I, running I, numbers? I, Have you heard of that terminology? Yeah, I'm, they're still running numbers. They're, okay. They're still running neighborhood numbers. Take a ride down in the Little Italy on Mulberry Street. They're still running numbers. That's because they don't I trust the government and they don't, give as good a, um, they don't give as good of a return. You know, the fact is... You don't have people getting robbed over cigarettes and alcohol in most places. New York City doesn't count because they have it so, the, the taxes are so high. And it's because the price is low. If people, if junkies can work for a living to buy their drugs, then they'll do it. It's absolutely and they true. Won't. If Come you on, think, look, Chris, you, if you, you think you're going to make people's life better by, you know, a drug addict, if you're going to make a drug addict's life better by putting them in a prison cell, you're going to be finding yourself very wrong because usually you put somebody in a prison well, cell, they lose whatever job they have. Plus, Chris's they lose their plan puts, puts my family in danger. My plan, which makes to, to drive down prices, doesn't put, my, to put your family in danger because the fact is now junkies are robbing good people like me, my wife, who God knows what's going to happen to my kid when these people want to get their drugs you're driving up prices man chris if you think punishment solves the problem how come it hasn't worked so far because they're not enforcing the laws that they have on the books what are you talking That's about why. there are millions of people not, arrested this every is year. the most incarcerated country on the planet what are you talking about they're not enforcing the, the laws jails they're and not prisons enforcing the laws. they're not enforcing the laws on the books the way they were written so you want to, how many more one. people do we need to incarcerate? Do we need to triple the world's incarceration rate? Do we need to quadruple hey, it? Look, we dropped we dropped gun crime in Virginia by using the laws that we had. Okay, instead of making more gun laws, and this is this is this is an NRA plan. Okay, it was called Project Exile. Look it up. It was an excellent program. Richmond was on the top of the list. Okay, for a long time per capita with murders. Now, granted, a lot of it was drug related. Okay, we weren't losing Nobel Peace Prize winners, but what the NRA did when the liberals wanted to come out and make more gun laws and this and that and the other thing, what they said was, look, since 1956 in the Commonwealth of Virginia, it said that if you're caught with a gun and you're a convicted felon, you go to federal prison for five years. End of story. So what they started doing was locking these guys up, no bond. So basically you, uh, you, you don't think people who are felons should be able to defend their lives and their families? I'm sorry, what? So you don't believe I'm, I'm people... I'm a law-abiding... Hey, well, hold on a second. I'm a law-abiding gun owner. I don't... You do are drugs. a liar. Okay. I bet you speed. I bet you've sped in your car before. I bet you committed a felony this week. Did I? I, the fact is that most Americans commit... I, there's a book out there called Three Felonies a Day. I'm not even going out on a limb. My co-host here, Mark, is a felon. He yeah, went to why jail. Why shouldn't I be able to protect my family? He went to prison for something that he made a mistake uh, about as a younger man, and uh, and he, you know, he spent his time in prison. And he spent nine years. And, and now you're an upstanding pillar of society, right, Mark? Well, what's that mean? I mean, I I, I have my I own mean, business. You, you hold a job. Yeah. You hold a job. You're not committing crimes anymore, right? Yeah. You learned your lesson, right? I I commit no more crimes than the average person. I don't know what learn my lesson means. I mean, I don't want to go to prison. So, so you think that he should not be able to defend his family. Is that right, Chris? Convicted felons? Sorry, dude. Game over. You, yep. So you mean, have you no compassion right? for other human beings. You think that you know what's best for people, and you're willing to put people in a jail cell who've never harmed anybody else. I know what's best for me. Yeah. I know what's best for Possessing me. Possessing a gun. I don't do drugs. <laughs> you don't do drugs. Have you drank ever? Yeah, I drink, I, I drink a You're a game. liar. <laughs> you do the hardest drug known to man. Alcohol and heroin are really? the two hardest drugs known to man, and you are a drug it, user, Chris. Drug. Embrace it, brother. No, because, see, I'm not...
855 450 free. That's the toll free number. You can take control of the airwaves. I'm amazed that we actually found a drug warrior to call in tonight. They do still exist. It's Free Talk Live. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Inventory isn't about products, kid. It's about money. Products sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves. I hate overstock. I hate understock. I hate wasting time. I hate wasting money. That's why I love Granger. Granger Keep Stock Solutions help us manage our facility's inventory so we have exactly what we need when we need it. No more, no less. It's inventory management my way. Get it? Got it? Good. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock for more information. Granger, for the ones who get it done. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the Internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can bring up whatever you want here toll free. We've been generally talking about the war on drugs, the insanity of the war on drugs, and it is perpetrated by people and uh, perpetuated by people like the last caller who 
just don't know what they're talking about. Well, he had some truth and some falsehoods in there, right? Like he understood that um, raising the price of cigarettes in New York City to eight, he he claimed eighteen dollars a pack. Mm-hmm. I, I I wouldn't doubt him, but I don't know. It's not like I'm buying cigarettes in New York it City. It sounds right. I think it's ten dollars per a pack tax in New York City. Fine, whatever places. it is, he knows that that uh, drives them into the underground. Now he didn't prove that people are getting robbed for cigarettes, but when the price gets high enough, I wouldn't doubt It'll it happen. at all. The other thing that he underst- understood was is that uh, longer sentences for violent crimes can result in a, um, a decrease of uh, violent crime. That's what we've seen here in the United States is um, when you actually uh, you know, punish people who commit violent crimes and keep them in prison for the length of their sentences or whatever, you'll see a decrease. Now, I, I don't know if those are directly related. I can't tell you causation correlation, but that's what it seems like to me. Now, what he was assuming was that the possession of a firearm by a convicted felon is also a violent crime, and that's horse Pocky. The fact is, is um, when a person gets out of prison, they, you know, they've done their time and their debts paid. Now, I would say an intern step is here in the United States that anybody who's been free and hasn't been arrested for five years should be able to immediate should immediately have their, um, you know, like automatically and immediately have their right to keep and bear arms restored to them. Mm. Now, this is just an interim step. The fact is, is that, you know, logically, if you look at it, the fact is everybody has the right to protect themselves. But, you know, I can see why uh, people are scared about giving felons their gun rights back. But, you know, this is not the way it is. A, A man can be convicted. I knew a man, knew a man who had been convicted 27 years prior of a crime, had a gun in his house that for whatever reason his son got in trouble, the cops came through, they found uh, the gun in the house, and he went to prison for it. Now, he had had that unfortunate uh, melanin problem with his skin, which is probably the reason this happened, because likely it wouldn't happen. You're saying he was black. He's black. Um, You know, likely it wouldn't have happened otherwise, because, you know, this is the way things were back in the day. But um, They haven't changed that much. Well, I'll tell you, that. you know, uh, the fact is poor people don't get so, as good a represent- representation. I agree. Felons uh, should be able to, to have firearms. If they have indeed paid their debt, as it's called, to society, then shouldn't they be back in society as full members of that society, which includes the right to defend themselves? Well, it seems pretty crystal clear to me. The, the, the question I would have for you on that, I mean, it, like the reason I have an interim step is because most people can get it. Okay, if you've been out for five years and you haven't committed a crime, Uh then your right to keep and bear arms should be returned to you. People get that one. They don't understand how many thousands of people go to jail every year for, you know, because they don't because they don't allow automatic return of uh, right to keep and bear arms. Well, and they also don't understand how many peaceful people go to prison for for felonies. I mean, there are all kinds of people who could be your friends, your neighbors, your yeah, uh, drug Drug felonies, uh, but not just them. But you know, you can have a gun or whatever and get felonies and. In that way, but uh, yeah, drug users are, are uh, constantly being locked up for felonies, and it's it's not making people's lives better. The last caller's suggestion was, we just need to enforce the existing laws more. Well, you know, he, put he more people to, in jail. He wanted to write the right laws, get rid of some bad laws, and write the right laws. Um, and well, he also said enforce the existing laws more. He said that the current laws were not being enforced properly, that there weren't enough people being arrested for drug use or drug dealing or whatever, and that we need to arrest more. And I'm sorry, putting somebody in a jail cell who has a drug problem. By the way, not everyone who's arrested for drugs has a problem with them. Many of them are recreational users that use them on a responsible basis. And that was something that Barry Cooper was touching on earlier, was the difference between drug use and drug abuse. Well, guess what? If you've got a plant or a pill in your pocket, whether you're an abuser or a user doesn't matter to the police, you're going to get the same felony charge either way and again whether you're a user or an abuser of drugs i don't think you deserve to be sitting any time in a jail cell now should treatment happen i think those people should be encouraged to get treatment but as you pointed out mark you can't force somebody into treatment or it tends to be very very ineffective and when you bring somebody who's forced into treatment into a uh, let's say a program with people who've actually chosen to be there it actually detracts from the people who've chosen to be in the treatment right this is really a, a big problem with forcing people into treatment is is that you ruin the whole treatment program. The fact is, is that when you put a whole bunch of people who don't want to be there, you create an attitude of, you know, screw Screw this. this. And then then it makes it for the people who want to be there, makes it much more difficult for them to to do the program. Um, I, I encourage anybody who isn't 
isn't ready to quit give up drugs, stay the hell out of a treatment center. What you need to do is you need to hit bottom. Please don't That's hit right. bottom by hurting people. Please don't get in cars and drive things. You know, go ahead and run tracks up your arm or whatever it does to take it takes to get you to the yeah, bottom. But usually it'll start hurting people at some point. I mean, I had an ex girlfriend who hit rock bottom and she was stealing in that time in her life to get money to buy the drugs. And she um, should be responsible for every yeah. one of her actions that harms other people. Right. Well, the uh, the stealing happens and that's a result of the high price of the drugs which again because they're illegal so on and so forth so legalizing decriminalizing drugs is the best most compassionate way because if the war on drugs is predicated on the idea of helping the people who have the drug problem then what we should be doing as a society is that which provides them the most help and incarceration courts threats violence these are not solving the problem but that's not really what drives a lot of people i think i think a lot of people want to they want to eliminate drug users they believe drug well, they users they want to eliminate drugs drugs are bad so therefore how do we to, they don't want to eliminate their drug that last caller was a uh, an alcohol user and to him that's not a drug right. which is ridiculous let's go to the phone Je jesse is on the line in madison uh, listening to the mic 92.1 wxxm hey jesse Hey, how's it going? What's um, on your I heard you guys talking. Hey. Yeah, I heard you guys talking earlier about like uh, if a family member gives you a prescription or something. You know, you can get busted for that. And they got these laws that are tearing families apart in some ways. Oh. Um, just wanted to share my story about something like that that happened to me sure. a couple of years ago. My younger brother died of a heroin overdose, unfortunately. Mm. And uh, last time, last time I saw him was on a Friday night. He dropped me off at my house. Uh, not even 12 hours later on Saturday morning, my mom's calling me saying, you know, was your brother on something last night? He's unresponsive on the couch. I said, mm -hmm. I have no idea. We were just hanging out playing video games, you know. So she hung up with me, called the paramedics right away, got him to the hospital, uh, had to resuscitate him from the from being dead. And I'm in the ambulance a couple of times on the way to the hospital. So my family's sitting there in the waiting room of the ER. Uh, the, the county drug task, task force comes in, and they want to talk to me. And uh, I'm in shock, obviously, you know. And they're, they're asking me what we were doing last night and if I knew anything about his habits and this and that. And I normally wouldn't even do this, but I was in such shock, and I felt like anything that might help him, you know, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I told him, you know, we were hanging out, smoking weed a little bit, just doing, you know, innocuous stuff. I, I had no idea that he was even mess around with heroin or anything, mm. uh, they, they say, oh, we don't care about that. That's fine. We just want to get these heroin guys off the street. Okay, whatever. Uh, cut to a couple months later, uh, get the same task force guys knocking on my front door saying that they had done a, done a sting on my house and my alleging that my wife had sold like three grams of marijuana or something oh, like that no. to a neighbor was wearing a wire. Uh, it turned into a whole thing. They charged her with two felony counts of distribution. Um, huh. yeah, she ended up getting it back down to misdemeanors. But it, the other thing that made me mad about it is she's sitting in court, and this DA has the nerve to say, "What you do? I think you were doing this for years under the radar. Not true. This is our neighbor, you know. Um, and not only that, but what you're doing is just as bad as selling heroin to people. Ridiculous. Like, Insult to injury for me personally. I mean, I'm trying to help these guys, and they come back with this on us because because they came to her to try to intimidate her to slip on someone else because they thought obviously that we knew who my brother was getting the heroin from or something along those lines, and we didn't cooperate, so they came back and penalized us for it. Yeah, and, and this now is she's wow. on probation. So, yeah, and I have no idea how you. I, I have no idea how you felt about police before this, but I imagine you probably trust a little less now. And this is the problem that the War of Drugs does, is, is that it, it turns law enforcement officers against the community. Well, yeah, I, I already didn't like police. Like I said, I normally wouldn't have even done that, but, you know, I'm I'm literally in shock. I just found out that my brother is dying, I, and I'm trying to help, you know. And not only not only did they do all that, but now she's on probation, and we live together. We have an 11-month-old daughter. They tell me I can't have any of my firearms in my house because I live with someone who's on probation. Mm. And they say, well, you can keep them if your wife leaves. I mean, great deal. Just, I think you could put trigger locks on and yeah. uh, check with her. Uh, uh, they, they, wouldn't, they, they wouldn't let us. The, the PO said, nope, that's state law. You can't have any firearms in the house in case 
Yeah, they yeah, can put all kinds of crazy restrictions on probation. Jesse, yeah. thanks for calling and sharing your story tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've still got a whole hour to go. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Doesn't have to be drug war related. In fact, coming up, we might be able to talk about whether or not the United States is a democracy. Mark Scott and a republic. Uh, it's Free Talk Live, hour three coming up. You take control. You got to pay attention to the small things, kid. Small things matter. Small problems become big problems. Take a transformer. Rain leaks into a transformer. Insulation system breaks down. Insulation system breaks down. Copper windings overheat. Copper windings overheat. Transformer blows. Transformer blows. Facility goes dark. Facility goes dark. Kid, you don't want to know what happens next. That's why I use Granger. Granger helps keep small problems from turning into big problems. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, April 18th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,302. Silver opened at $19.65, while Bitcoin is trading at $474.17. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more. GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Support also comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today, bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com. Or give them a call, 512-459-5253. In the news, Senator Dianne Feinstein has stated that she is opening an investigation into how the McClatchy News Service obtained the classified conclusions of a Senate report into the CIA's use of torture. If someone distributed any part of this classified report, they broke the law and should be prosecuted, Feinstein said. The senator's statements come on the heels of McClatchy releasing the 20 conclusions of the Senate Intelligence Committee's report. Last week, the committee voted to send the conclusions in a 480-page summary to President Obama for declassification review. In an appearance on Russian TV, former NSA contractor Edward Snowden asked Russian President Vladimir Putin whether Russia engaged in mass spying of Russian citizens. Putin said Russia does not have as much money as they have in the United States and just doesn't have the technical devices that they have in the States. However, Russia has a surveillance system that has been described as PRISM on steroids, a reference to the NSA's data collection program. It's being called Google for the dark web. The Gram's search engine launched last week and is accessible only on the Tor browser. Wired reports the search engine is based on Google and can lead users to sites selling drugs, guns, fake identification, and other black market essentials. Before Gram's, such sites could only be found by users who knew the specific 
URL address. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at coreymoreshow.com. And support comes from Roberts and Roberts Broker Jank, precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977. Online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 18th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The Easter holiday falls on Sunday, April 20th, abbreviated as 420, which is a common phrase used by marijuana users as a cue to ingest their drug of choice. Well, that fact has led a coalition of Christian leaders to call on the United States to end the war on drugs. Al Jazeera reports the coalition says that Jesus Christ was about challenging unjust systems that held marginalized communities in bondage, much the same way that the drug war disproportionately leads to the incarceration of minorities. On Wednesday, the Christian leaders called for a change in the drug war, pushing for the repeal of federal laws that criminalize low-level drug possession. At least 58 are dead and more than 100 wounded following an attack Thursday on a United Nations base in South Sudan. The base was being used to shelter thousands of displaced civilians. AFP reports that 48 bodies have been recovered from inside the base. They include children, women, and men. 350 armed youth are blamed for the attack. And Google has updated its terms of service to make it clear that incoming and outgoing emails are scanned and analyzed for advertising. The update states that Google scans the contents of emails being sent and received through any Gmail account. Google users' data from personal files, search history, YouTube views, and map requests to display relevant ads that they hope will lead to more clicks and thus more revenue. The practice has garnered criticism from privacy groups. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks. CHL courses, self-defense training, and firearm sales. Give them a call, 512-731-3585 or online at centraltexasgunworks.com. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwest Burritos with homemade tortillas. Online, cabobobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 18th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, Spread liberty with a smile. According to locals waiting for a 66 bus in downtown Chicago last night, a young couple was making out in the passenger shelter like they were in Paris or something. Onlookers spoke to reporters about the pair who carried on their passionate embrace for over 20 minutes as if they were in some sort of goddamn candlelit bistro tucked away in Montmartre. It's been almost a half an hour and they're still going at it. It's like they think they're sitting on a sun-dappled picnic blanket in the Tuileries Gardens. I mean, where the hell are we? The Champs-Élysées? The Paris Marathon makeout session, which took place in downtown Chicago and not, as frustrated onlookers emphasized, on a cobblestone street in the city of f***ing lights, featured intense gazing, deep tongue kissing, and other gestures of affection typically reserved for a couple strolling down the banks of the Seine River. You know, for a second there, I honestly thought we had all been transported to Parc Monceau drinking flutes of champagne on a wonderful summer afternoon while being serenaded by a Parisian accordion player. But no, we're at a bus stop in in Chicago. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. The toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. And we've got Skype. You can Skype on into the show, just like we did with Barry Cooper earlier in the program. You can use username lrn.fm. So send a contact request to that username. We will approve it. And it'll get you on the air easily and quickly here uh, via Skype, and you'll sound better typically. Than you do if you call on the phones. Now, the overarching topic tonight, since we started by talking with Barry Cooper, has kind of been the war on drugs. We did manage to unearth a drug warrior earlier this evening, which seems to be more and more of a rarity these days. Maybe more people are actually waking up to the insanity of the war on drugs, the, the madness of thinking that by locking somebody in a prison cell, that, that's somehow going to improve their lot in life. They've already been, you know, if they're a drug addict, their lot in life is really 
crappy. And then taking them away from their whatever level of freedom they have into a prison cell isn't going to solve things, especially considering you can get drugs in prison. Uh, you know, if you want to talk about a perfect example of the failure of the war on drugs, the idea of the war on drugs being to stop the flow of drugs anywhere, to eliminate drugs. Uh, you can't even these these government guys can't even stop drugs from being uh, getting into the most secure facilities known to man, the the prisons of America. They can certainly limit the amount that come come in, but it, all they do is they can't stop it. Essentially, drive the prices up there too. This is all the drug war d- does is drive up costs, and right. this is the reason you have uh, the the problem with junkies. Uh, yeah, the reason that somebody might rob you for crack or crank or bo- heroin or whatever it is that they you know there is their particular favorite flavor is because they can't afford to do it on their own. They don't want to commit robberies. Most people don't. No, nope. I mean most robberies are usually a situation where you're desperate for whatever reason. And let's I mean let's go and interview the people in prison i have um Mm -hmm. of why they're committing robberies and um you know the vast majority of the circumstances to get drugs exactly there's some people that are going to commit robberies anyway but we can handle incarceration with them our incarceration rates would be similar in this country as they are the rest of the world if you just end the crazy war on drugs and don't forget there's plenty of examples you can look to like uh, portugal where for over a decade now they've had decriminalized drugs of all types, yeah. not just cannabis, but all drugs, you know, small amounts of possession of all drugs have been completely decriminalized in uh, in that area, and you know, crime has gone down, and most importantly, addiction has gone down. the uh, The rates of addiction in Portugal have dropped dramatically in the last decade, something like forty to fifty percent. And that's not because the addicts are overdosing and dying off; it's because they're no longer afraid to get help. Because right now, or in, in the United States, where drugs are illegal, uh, some drugs are illegal, uh, the people who are addicted to those drugs in a lot of cases are paranoid. They're not interested in going and checking into a hospital because they don't want, as our last caller suggested, the drug task force to show up and start asking questions and get, you know, possibly arrest them. It's so, petrifying. Yeah. So share your thoughts here with us. You're welcome to join us on the phones. 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Tom in uh, Detroit. Tom, you're on Free Talk Live listening online to LRN.FM. Hey, guys. Great to hear you. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Wanted to give you an update on uh, the story I told you the other day about the uh, uh, incident that took place on, uh, let's see here, uh, eight, uh, March 22nd at 1230, uh, 1235 a.m. This was where the police came to your house uh, based on a noise complaint. Allegedly, they had uh, apparently firearms pulled out as they pointed them at your house. You kind of snuck out the side door, took a look, went back inside, and you never answered the door, and they went away after about an hour. Is that right? Yep, and I've got the proof in my hands. And I, it's very short because, again, when they left, there wasn't anything to report. So the, the report, I mean, it's just a paragraph and a half, and I can read it to you. But okay. anyway— and I want I want to set up uh, again. The uh, situation was the reason it took place. I've been here for four years. I get along great with my neighbors. I'm a musician. I'm also a sound engineer, and I have a stereo in my house that will blow away anybody's stereo. And I've always gone around the neighbors, asked them if it bothered them, and it didn't. Mm-hmm. But I have this, uh, and I know you're going to take this offensively. Maybe I have the dopers across the street, and I have nothing against drugs. At all. Been there, done that, whatever. But when they've got the traffic coming up and down the street and I see, uh, you know, I I see problems. Yeah, absolutely. You're talking about a drug house in your neighborhood. This is just another reason that the war on drugs causes problems for people. You're not going to have me upset about it. I'd hate to have that across the house from across the street from me. You know what? Okay, now hold on. You might be upset about it when you see. And I know you guys are real sensitive to this, and I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm a racist, okay? But when I see the gangbangers pu- pulling up here, and they got the oomph, oomph, oomph going in the trunk, and they're just blatantly making it obvious, it's not good, okay? We're we're a we're well, a decent I'm not sure who I'm not sure who's a gangbanger and who isn't, but I can tell you that if okay. you have if you drive a certain type of car, you're probably going to be profiled that way. Okay, so I guess I'm profiling. So, especially since I see it going on every few minutes at the house. So, not only that, the neighbor next to her, who I've gotten along with everybody here until our 12 below zero uh, day we had here in Michigan. It was our record cold. 
she calls me up at 7.30 at night to give her a jump on her car, and she's a welfare recipient. I know this for a fact. She never has to go anywhere, and I didn't want to come out. I was here with my girlfriend. Both of us took the day off, lost money, because we were not confident to go out and get stuck in 12 below zero. Mm -hmm. So now I believe she might be part of this, and I believe that might be why the police were called on me. I just want to set up a little... So you uh, didn't, You told her you would not go and give her the jump in the, the cold weather, is what you're saying. Right. And she, right. what did she have to leave for? You think she was mad about that, and she called the cops on you later. Was it the same night where she asked you for the jump that the no, cops... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This was, this was later, because it, she, she literally came out... And talk to my dad, who I've referred to you to you guys. So, several what was times. it that? Um, I mean, what was the police report? You got the the info. What okay. was it that you were wanting to All reveal? Right. Let's, let's get to it. All right, here, here we go. I've got it in my hand, top cover page. Uh, it says the the report itself is dispatch defense L three five one one noise kids playing. Okay, so it's a general this leave, a general leave defense. out the mumbo jumbo. <laughs> okay, okay. So, all right. So now here. On 323, I told you it was, oh, I guess it was 323, not 22, it was Saturday night, approximately 025 hours. Well, that would be Sunday morning because it was 1235. Mm -hmm. So uh, officer so-and-so, I'm not going to say his name, and I were dispatched to investigate a noise complaint at my address. Dispatched advice that the resident is playing loud music. Now, upon r arrival, officer so-and-so and I approached the house but did not observe any loud music. I walked up to the front door and attempted to make contact by knocking. Nobody answered. Of course, I told you guys I don't answer. I didn't know who the hell was out there. Yeah, it it's creepy to have someone knock on the door at 1230 in the morning. Right, right. My girlfriend and I were sitting there, and it scared the hell out of me. All they right. actually banged fairly hard. Okay, I, and this is the cop. I walked up to the west side of the house to knock on the door, but the resident, and my name's in capital letters, how they identified me, I don't know. Anyway, walked out. Uh, of the house holding a black pump action shotgun. I was approximately 10 feet away from my name, again, the capital letters. I immediately drew my pistol and pointed it at my name. Mm -hmm. I used loud verbal commands and told my name to drop the shotgun. He never said he was a police officer. Hmm. And what, what freaked me out is, again, I don't know if the dopers are coming after me because sure. they've been doing their little martial arts displays out in the street lately and I, I can see it's coming my way. You feel They're intimidated. It blatantly obvious. Okay, then what? So, all right. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, me, my name, was holding the shotgun with his left hand only, and the barrel was pointed in the upward direction. Thank God. Anyway, that's my comment. At no point did my name appoint the shotgun at officer or myself. Island felt, oh, excuse me. Name said that he wanted to know who was knocking at his front door because that's what came out of my mouth. You're going to have to cut this short, Tom. We're almost out of time. All right. Uh, my name then went back to his home and shut the door. Officer so-and-so and I retreated back to his patrol vehicle for cover and advised dispatch of the situation of a, uh, uh, a barricaded gunman. But so, then they ended up going away. The barricaded gunman, but they just drive away. Weird. Well, no. No, they didn't. You want to continue or not? All right, hang on. 855 450 free. You're going to have to keep it short. Coming up here because we got other people that want to talk. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. 
Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, live Saturday edition. You can bring up anything you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line, 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three with you tonight, Ian here and Mark. Mark, how can I do math and get Bitcoin? Right, you want to get some free Bitcoins? You know, people are talking about Bitcoins all over the place. We're telling you how you can buy them, but wouldn't it be nice to get some for free? Well, you can go to math. There's work involved here. Well, it's, I, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna have to do some theorems. I don't even know what a theorem is. I get the impression at MathGate. Well, it's kind of like a Sudoku. Uh, puzzle as I uh, explained to you. Hmm. Um, yeah, you go to mathgate.info and you can prove theorems and be rewarded with bitcoins. So you can learn some logic, do some math, find some bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So you can connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous bitcoins if that's what uh, what what's right for you. I can tell you, if you've got Maybe you've got some kids in uh, college or high school. This is perfect for them. Go to math, uh, you know, tell them about mathgate.info so that they can go get some Bitcoins. Because you may not know that much about Bitcoins. You just heard about them on the news. Your your high school students, college students, they're much more likely to know about Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. So go to mathgate.info today to join the treasure hunt. All right, we're going to go uh, back to your phone calls and thoughts. Phones are loaded up. You're welcome to join us here at 855-450-FREE. Tom in Detroit is going to wrap up his story uh, that he's kind of 
uh, to some extent has retold, but this time from the police's perspective. You called a, a week or so ago to let us know that the cops had showed up at your house at 1230 in the morning. Uh, they banged on your door. You didn't answer. You actually went out the side door and they spotted you. You apparently had a shotgun with you. The officer leveled his gun at you and told you to drop the gun, but you say he didn't identify himself as police. Uh, you went back inside the house, and that's where you kind of left off on the police report, uh, their kind of perspective on what happened. Because of what you just told us, Tom, is that this officer who's writing the report said he radioed into dispatch to let them know they had a barricaded gunman. So to me, that sounds like they're getting ready to escalate the situation, but yet they went away, you told us previously, uh, after you waited them out for an hour. What what happened from their perspective? Right. Well, again, just remember that I didn't know that it was police knocking at my door i as we discussed earlier that i was i didn't know if it was the dopers across the street or what Mm -hmm. so now it did escalate so now we have four more officers and a sergeant arrived so there were five cars all pointed at my house with their lights on and uh it says here uh okay i advise sergeant such and such that i observed no violation so believe so first place is if the police observed no violation, why would they escalate it at all? Well, they got nothing right, else then. to do, apparently. Well, yeah, guns exactly. are scary these and days, that. basically. This is exciting for the police. I mean, these guys are adrenaline junkies, a lot of them, and uh, to know that they've got a barricaded gunman, well, that's an exciting situation. Yeah, and as we talked, and I want to finish this too, but as we spoke last night or the night before, I had brought up the point of when do we actually fight back? But anyway, we'll go there another time again. And that, okay, I uh, my name did not point the shotgun at officers. I attempted you, you'd to made it sound like this was a fairly short report, but it's getting pretty lengthy. Can you wrap up a no, summary I mean, of, almost, it, of what it's happened? Literally, it's literally almost over. The point is they got on their loudspeakers and megaphones and were demanding that I come out. And my girlfriend and I sat down and watched the movie. And we heard it all and saw the lights in our windows and just – Ignored him. So now, just get back to it. Uh, if you exit the home, Sergeant such and such advised that since there was no violation committed, that the office, officers could clear the run. Now they did that, but here's here's the kicker: Officer such and such such and such requested disp- dispatch flag this residence for officers to use caution when responding mm. to any run. That is what really bothers me. Well, I mean, I that understand. Is, I mean, you've got a guy with a gun. They don't know who you are, and they don't know what the situation is. So I can't fault them well, for, wait, 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 for adding wait. a they note to your file. I stepped out of my house not knowing who's banging on my front door yeah. at 1230 at night. What do you mean there's a guy with a gun? So what? Well, That's my right, isn't it? It is your right, but it's also their right to keep notes on people and, you know, advisories and that kind of thing for their officers. Thanks, Tom, yeah. for the call. I hope it doesn't turn into it. anything bad. Yeah, but... th- thanks for the call and thanks for the update. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Ray. He's listening to WKZO in Kalamazoo. Ray, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Ray in Kalamazoo. Yeah, thanks for having me. I mean, that's that, uh, that call, these calls are just horrible. You need you need someone to get, or you need to talk with people a that probably aren't high, but but two that to make salient points. I mean, are you trying to debate whether or not to legalize uh, drugs? And if we are, let's have a debate about it. Okay, let's let's not and well, let's here, not brush, here you are, brush right? it. Let's not say okay, all all police are bad. We didn't say okay, that. Okay, all police are adrenaline junk. Yeah, you just didn't said, say that. Oh, those those police are adrenaline junkies. I said a lot of police are yeah, adrenaline junkies. Well, yeah, like, how do you know? Well, let's see. We've talked to Barry but Cooper, uh, who was on our show that. earlier tonight, and he, we didn't talk about this with him this evening, but in the past, he told us that he was uh, hooked on the adrenaline that he would get from pulling people over, and he had to constantly escalate the level of yeah, so uh, you danger. Got, you got one anecdote. You, you've got one anecdote. Well, anecdotal one thing's aside. There you go. Okay, there. You're, you're right. That's you're anecdotal. anecdotal. The, the, the fact is, is you can't, an, you can't claim that the militarization of the police in the United States is anecdotal. You can't claim that the 40,000 thousand home invasions or uh, you know drug raids raids in this country are anecdotal the fact is is that the the police have been escalating over time as a result of the war on drugs their war on citizens no oh, I, I just i just think that uh first of all um by 
uh, really uh, trying to uh, uh, argue that that the police are are mean, mean spirited uh, by trying to vilify uh, folks who are trying to enforce the law. I think you're missing, you know, really important policy points. I mean, I think well, that Ray, how about um, this? Hold on just a second. Ray. Hang, hang on a second. Okay. I think part well, you, you've just made a point that I wanted to address. Part of the answer. Maybe part of the answer, but by but by vilifying uh, anyone that thinks that certain drug use should be unlawful, uh, you're you're extremely close-minded. Well, <laughs> I, we try to make the points here. I mean, you know, like I I would love to talk about the point as to why I think that legalizing drugs is a good idea, but um, you know, well, I don't think I'm well, vilifying, and I do think that these, there's some problems with the idea. Don't have these long drawn-out stories that are. Hello? Gosh, Ray, you just cut out for a moment there. Yeah, you, we didn't hear what you said. Yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, then, then don't put on these callers that have these long, drawn-out stories. That have hey, look, man, points. anybody can call in on Free Talk Live. We try, to, we try to complete the story as quickly as we can. We do a different show than other shows, and I understand that can be shocking. When you are used to hearing a certain thing on the air, we do something a bit different. So it's not shocking. It's boring. Okay, right here you are. Uh, you're apparently, on the phone. you no, you waited through callers. it, man. Try to ha- try to have callers on that make salient points. Thanks, Ray. You're the fact our new is, Ray, director. Free Talk Live is going on uh, more and more radio more stations radio. across the country every single week. So apparently, they disagree with you, you know, and you people... cared enough to call in, which yeah. makes you somebody who cares. Somebody. And by the way, he said uh and um a lot. And a lot of people would say that's boring too, Ray. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven. Not a single salient point. You can bring up whatever you want, even if it's ignorance. It's Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you got to keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vigati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. 
Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. And our phones are open for you to take control of the airwaves here at 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free line, 855 450 3733. You know, we talk a lot about Bitcoin. We're very excited about this new alternative currency, this decentralized currency. But there's something else out there that we've always been big fans of here on Free Talk Live, and I still remain a big fan of gold and silver. Yeah, an old currency. Uh, And also decentralized in a lot of ways. Indeed it is, very much so. Um, Gold and silver have been used as currencies for thousands of years, and whether you want them as an investment or barter currency in case things go south or uh, hedge against inflation, whatever it might be, you can go to gold.freetalklive.com and get all kinds of different coins and and pieces there. Also, there's a telephone number at gold.freetalklive.com that you can use to call Midas Resources. I'm not going to give it out on the air because you can go to gold.freetalklive.com to, to find it. But this is, um, when we talk, they talk about gold and silver on the radio all the time. It's a great way to do some comparison shopping before you buy anything. Go to gold.freetalklive.com. All right, we go back to the phones. Your calls and thoughts are welcome here. Let's go first to Brandon listening in Wisconsin online to uh, through, through our network, actually, at GCNlive.com. Hey, Brandon. You are on the air. Brandon going once. Brandon going Hey, guys. hey you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, um... I've been uh, seriously considering a move to New Hampshire uh, lately. Uh, I was worrying about uh, employers. Um, uh, unfortunately, I mostly have experience in uh, unskilled labor. Mm-hmm. Um, should I come on and tell them that I am moving for the Free State Project? Should I make up a story or do people discriminate against movers or? Yeah, it I depends. think that, that happens. So it has happened to people. Uh, you know, probably best to not wear it on your sleeve when applying for a job. Get uh, get a you know. Yep. If they ask you why you moved to New Hampshire, you can say because I have, uh, you know I have friends here or you know something like that. Something that's yeah. not a lie, but something. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't lie you know, to anybody generally, uh, but I, that's not the thing that I would go saying. Yeah, why are you, why are you moving here? Well, it's it's beautiful here in New Hampshire, or you know whatever. It's I've heard it's a great place I want to, to live. The east or something. Yeah. So there you go. Was that all you had? Yeah, that was pretty much my main question. Yeah, what I'd recommend you do is go to forum.freestateproject.org. There's a great group of online folks there who can really do a good job of answering some questions. There's a jobs subsection of that forum where you know useful jobs are posted. And, of course, unskilled labor, there's plenty of jobs like that here in yeah. New Hampshire. In fact, uh, you know, New Hampshire actually has the best unemployment rate of the entire Northeast. So Still? Keep that I thought Vermont might have uh, passed us up by squeaked past us. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I heard it was the best. Maybe Among the best. Not, that's not true. But it's very, very good here, and it's actually gotten even better recently from what I understand. Thanks, Brandon, for the call tonight of course he's referring to the free state project you can go to freestateproject.org to learn more about that victor's in chattanooga listening to freetalklive.com hey victor hey how you guys doing welcome tonight? sir go ahead with well, your thoughts thank you for uh, allowing me to come on and uh enjoy this uh, radio program that i don't get to listen to very often but oh. i always enjoy we're doing our jobs victor go ahead with your thoughts well, anyway, so um, uh, as far as the drug war goes, it's a total sham. Yes. It's 
uh, it's uh, you know it's unconstitutional. Look, I mean they in uh, you know whenever they did the uh, probe uh, 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 against alcohol, they had to make a uh, amendment to the constitution, and then they amended the constitution again to uh, make it legal. And so all these drugs and uh, and everything else. Come on, it's very nice and very healthy for you to take some pharmaceutical. Oh, yeah, sure. Or, or maybe some GMO, I mean healthy. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, just delicious. pop those pills. That'll solve everything. But, you know, so, yeah, that's a total sham. But I wanted to get you guys' take on what happened in uh, uh, the desert of Nevada there with the uh, uh the cattle the Bundys? Thing that so here's what I'd like yeah. to suggest you do, Victor. If you go to our SoundCloud channel at uh, soundcloud.freetalklive.com, you scroll back about a week. and uh, Exactly a week. Last, yeah, last week's show, we had Ryan Bundy on the show as he rode to victory with his friends and family who came to help them uh, out there at the Bundy Ranch. Uh, rode to victory, uh, taking 300-plus head of cattle back from the Bureau of Land Management. So... My perspective on it is it was an incredible success for people standing up for the freedoms of another individual. The hundreds of people who came out to support the family, most of them didn't know the family. You know, folks coming out from all over the place uh, to show their support, and it was done peacefully. Not a single shot was fired, and I think it was an amazing show of non-cooperation. These folks were not going to budge. They weren't going to do what they were told, and they won the day. And, Victor, I thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you at 855 Four fifty free. Let's go to Brian in Oklahoma City, listening to LRN.FM. By the way, before you go, Brian, uh, I did, Mark, just pull up the local area unemployment statistics map. According to the, the numbers here, and these numbers are from March of 2014, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, so government website statistics, where okay. I'm getting this from, comparing New Hampshire to Vermont, unemployment rate in Vermont, 5.0. Oh, excuse me. I read it wrong. That was Virginia's. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. Vermont slightly lower than New Hampshire. Uh, New Hampshire with a 4.5. Vermont with a 3.4. That's, so. that's not even slight. <laughs> so there you go. There's the uh, the actual numbers. Brian, you're on with us on uh, in Oklahoma City. Are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. I want to talk about Bitcoins and sure. uh, the, the uh, Bitcoin developers and the... Um, the process that, that they have for updating the, the Bitcoin client and how, uh, I guess it's like a democratic kind of thing where they, they uh, when an update is proposed, it's kind of voted on and everyone has to accept whether they can accept this uh, update and how it could be potentially harmful. To Bitcoin, you know, like they can change the amount of total Bitcoins in existence or, you know, the cutoff point. Yeah, and, what you're talking about is, nature. yeah, you're talking about the 51% attack. Um, and whatever we say on the air is not going to be anything compared to what you can go and Google with the term 51% attack. And what I'm going to tell you is, is that um, when it comes to, I've, I've looked at this and as Bitcoin gets found out by new people, they learn about the, you know, the aspects of Bitcoin as time goes by. The 51% attack has been talked about um, ad nauseum over the course of the five years that Bitcoin has been around six years, maybe now. And, and I would say that, you know, there's things about it that uh, bother me and things about it that don't. But well, I don't think that Bitcoin as a technology is going to be destroyed by the 51% attack. Oh, hold on. I don't know if you guys are communicating appropriately. Let me recap what I heard you say, Brian, because I'm not sure if Mark really understood. Um, you're talking about the process that the programmers of Bitcoin use to decide how to program Bitcoin. And what I'm hearing Mark talk about is this 51% attack, which is a way to control the, the network and, and kind of implement whatever changes you want. Uh, the you, devs, to do the the devs have to get 51% of uh, Bitcoin uh, miners to agree to whatever new oh, really? things that they have. Sure. Okay. I mean, but because they are the devs, um, generally Bitcoin miners go with it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, mining operations that have gotten too large have voluntarily downsized themselves um, and, and split in, with the intention of not having um, you know, this, this size of a cartel. But does that address your question at all, Brian? I guess I, what I'm proposing is maybe um, 
uh, maybe a future cryptocurrency that maybe replaces Bitcoin being not updatable. You know, to where you could. Well, I don't know if I like that idea. You got to be able to I update. Mean, Some things have happened with uh, Bitcoin um, up to this point that needed to be updated. It's yeah, a, it's a good thing it that better. they could update them. B Bitcoin has been upgraded over time. I mean, this new multi sig thing that they've been talking about, multiple, multiple signatures, uh, there's other things that they're doing that hadn't been done up until just recently, and they really open up some new areas for Bitcoin that are very exciting. Uh, but by all means, if you think that a, a coin, an altcoin that it cannot ever be updated, that the rules cannot ever be changed is a valuable thing, then release that to the world and join the other 200 altcoin competitors to Bitcoin and see how uh, the market feels about it. Brian, thanks for the call tonight. I don't expect much will come out of it. There's a, there's a few of them out there that have different ideas on this, and maybe those will be the ones that uh, beat out Bitcoin. There's I have no clue. There's hundreds of altcoins, and not a single one is even a threat to Bitcoin at this point. Not at point. this point. 855 450 freeze, the toll free number. It's more like a hobby, a trading hobby to have those things than anything else. Because otherwise they're useless. More coming up. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com this alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimesPree.com. That's VictimlessCrimesPree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. If you call now, you're probably not going to get on. We've already got folks waiting patiently to get on the air here in these remaining moments. If you can't get in tonight, don't worry. There's always another Free Talk Live 21 hours away. We do the show seven nights a week, 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time are our live hours. If you're listening on a radio station that does not air the show live, you can always call anyway, even if you're not listening live, with whatever issue it is that you want to discuss, and then you can hear yourself later on. So feel free to get interactive whether you're listening to us live or not, and of course join us online at freetalklive.com. When you say the Free Talk Live, there's always 21 hours till the next Free Talk Live. Um, 21 at the hours end of the viewers. show. Yeah. Yep, at uh, 21 hours or fewer. Uh, for Free Talk Live, because, you know, if you're just waiting across a break, there's less than that. Yeah. Um, you're not kidding, because we've been live seven nights a week going back for years. It's I mean, true. We haven't missed a live show in years. There's a real dedication to the craft of talk radio here on Free Talk Live. And you're oh, you're invited to help us create this uh, this program on a nightly basis. And if you know you're not comfortable maybe coming on the air with us, there are ways for you to interact online. You go to freetalklive.com. You can submit content right there to the front page of the website. You can vote on stuff that you dislike. Vote it down. You can vote it up if you like it, and that'll help us know what interesting things are out there far as possible show prep stuff we might talk about of course in a lot of shows like this one tonight uh we started out with a guest and we never even got to any of the show prep that we had so you know nope. maybe we'll talk about that democracy thing on another night don't forget freetalklive.com is supported by listeners like you through the amp program the amp program is offering matching contributions right now there are several dedicated listeners who've stepped up to match up to 950 dollars a month in the amp program and we can still reach we've actually went up about 40 bucks 40 some dollars in the amp program this week so it's been a good up week for AMP, and hopefully we can continue that momentum because we've got a few hundred more dollars that we can raise for the AMP program, which helps us get on more radio stations, helps new internet listeners come on board, and you can get your dollars matched all the way up to that $950 limit. And like I said, we're still like two or $300 away from hitting that limit. So if you AMP the program at amp.freetalklive.com this weekend, You'll get your amp, uh, your amp money match. So if you do five bucks, it's like doing ten. And we're taking that in and we're investing it into the show. We're using it to buy a Google AdWords campaign to help uh, people who are looking for talk radio, just kind of generic talk radio related searches online, find Free Talk Live. And uh, it helps us out a lot when you amp the show. So please go to amp.freetalklive.com as we go back to your phone calls and thoughts. David is first here this segment in Charlottesville, Virginia, listening to WCHV. Hey, David. Hey. How are you doing? Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts. Thank you. I, I just want to comment on the drug use and the uh, and the felony charges for that. Um, I just feel like your markets, like some of the violent, I can understand, on the felony charge. <clears throat> but some of the possession charges and giving them a felony, you're marking these kids, and when they come out, after they served their sentence, they can't get a job because they have, especially in Virginia, can't get a job because they have a felony, felony conviction. Mm. And, and it's, it's, I think it's totally unfair. I mean, it's just. It's right, just, and they're back, and into, it, back into the world of crime. Right. If you can't get a job, you're probably going to commit crimes at that point. Exactly and, right. Exactly right. They're back in there again because they can't get a job and there's nothing for them to do. And what else is it to do, them to do but get in trouble? I admit you, Derek, uh, David, I appreciate your call and your thoughts tonight. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. I mean, it's just so true. Getting Putting somebody in a jail cell, felony charges for possession of drugs, makes people's lives worse. Do you want to help people? That's not the way to do it. Let's go to Rudolph. He's in California listening to TuneIn online. Hey, Rudolph. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, Thanks for sir. taking my call. Welcome. Go ahead with your thoughts. Uh, you know, 
I guess I'm basically calling for some advice. You know, um, you know, I'm an adult male, educated, and uh, you know, I care passionately about society, about doing what's right, and and I feel like I strive for that, and yet I live with this perpetual sense of dissatisfaction in life. It's like, you know, you're up against nothing but negativity. You're up against the, the evil government and go, the globalists and, uh, and, and the zombie public. And you know, I just feel like there's, there's nowhere to turn. And, and in my own experience, I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of up against a brick wall, you know, at every corner. And I'm just wondering what, what is it that I can do to make just the day better for myself? That, I guess that's just what I'm asking. So just to clarify, you're frustrated by some of the, uh, you know, the things in society that really are getting to you. It's getting you, the, the, uh, the frustrations are getting you down and you're wondering how to stay positive. Absolutely. Yeah. So there are some very uh, tried and true techniques on uh, on being more positive in life, and I think. Oh, wait that- a second, Ian. He was very specific. He said um, that he's you know the 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 government's too big. People don't see the same problems that he sees. Um, he feels like a libertarian lost in a vacuum. Does it sound right? That's absolutely right. Okay, so uh, there's lots okay, of ways. I didn't to, know he was a libertarian. Right. I didn't. I wasn't well, gonna jump you got to listen conclusion. to people when they talk. Um, when the you know so for me. I felt this way in Sarasota, Florida. Ian felt the same way. The fact is, when you're surrounded by a bunch of people that don't feel the same way as you feel, you tend to feel lost, alone, and and the same way you do. You're getting progressively depressed. The news is always bad news, and that's the way it feels. Here in New Hampshire, the way I feel is I'm surrounded by people who feel the same way I do, and I see hope. I see change. I see things happening on a daily basis, or I should say on a monthly basis um, here in the Free State Project that shows me that we are moving more towards a society that's centered around liberty. You're not out in California. No, no, not, not at all. Now, Rudolph, are you familiar with the Free State Project at all? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, so what you want to do is go to freestateproject.org. That's where you can go to learn more about a movement of 20,000, what will be 20,000, now over 15,000 liberty-minded people who are focusing their efforts, moving. We moved from uh, from Florida uh, back in 2006. People are moving here every single month. We've got over 1,500 people that are here now, and there's a real community here of people who love freedom. It's growing. We're becoming more influential. We're having more political successes um, beyond that, if you you know if you can't leave California, then there are lots of great things you can do uh, to you know try to stay positive in a negative world. And I would recommend af- positive affirmations, meditation, and things like Maybe that. Maybe a you know liberty oriented meetup. Yeah, well that that happens everywhere, and it really <laughs> I don't know if that helps people stay more positive because then you're just around a bunch of people complaining for uh, for two hours. Hey, thanks, Rudolph. Good luck, and uh, hopefully we'll see you up here in New Hampshire. Let's go to the phones here. Terry listening in Myrtle Beach to WRNN. Hello, Terry. Yes, I had a question. Somebody could explain this. I hear the unemployment figures come out. Is that once a month? Is that every week? I believe it's monthly. Okay, there's 300 and some thousand people each month more that are losing their jobs. Is that correct? I have no idea. That's what I was wondering. And I saw a bumper sticker. I used to live in Orlando, Florida. It says, you can't fix stupid. That's why Obama's still president. <laughs> well, you Thanks, know, I Terry. Mean, I appreciate your call tonight. I, I kind of feel like, uh, you know, one one way or the other, Republicans or Democrats, these people don't seem to have solutions. Um, so, you know. Tommy is with us. They've got a solution up there in Glasgow, and that's secession. The secession uh, question will be on the ballot later this year. Tommy, did you have an update for us? Yeah, well, uh, the update is uh, no change as yet. I'll come on later on, maybe in a week or so, and, and give you a full update. But I was wanting to just touch on the drug issue. Sure, go the ahead. Real problem with, the real problem with this is the criminals who make it a war in drugs. You know, what, what it is is a war on poor people and a war on people's uh, countries who have got a different color of skin to the United States of it's America. It's true. It's a war on our friends. It's a war on family members. It's a war on our neighbors, and it needs to end. I thank you, Tommy, for the call tonight. Let's go to Brian quickly in Nashua on Skype. Brian, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. I was invited today um, to go to participate in a Cambridge University study where I basically 
was with 25 other individuals randomly selected for registered voters in New Hampshire. And um, they've done 150 of these things. And uh, after the study, they, they concluded that they were shocked because 25 randomly selected voters were universally finally kind of getting to the conclusion that they are moving towards free state ideas. I mean, hmm. universally against both candidates and when it, in regards to Gene Zaheen versus wow. Scott Brown. And I was and I was shocked at, at they obviously they went over every single issue. They and, clearly and, didn't pick their twenty five people gun, from Keene. Gun control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, yeah, they was this was in Manchester by the yeah. airport. But what it what what, it, what surprises even the people that considered themselves left were were actually hurt by what like by the fraud of Obama and the people on the right if they didn't understand they were actually moving forward towards an actual benign foreign policy and that's something to move forward to. so you're saying uh good news for New Hampshire people here are sick and tired of the two-party systems the average voter in New Hampshire and that may bode well for the Free State Project is that what you're saying absolutely thanks Brian yes, we're out of time tonight if you didn't get in tonight yeah well you can call us tomorrow we've got a Sunday show we do it live from 7 to 10 at night eastern time it has been Ian here with you. And Mark. See you tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Have a great weekend. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter.